Welcome back to On the Money with Secure Money. This is the weekly report. I'm Rob Herdig. I'm here with my good friend Brian Quaranta. Rob, good to see you. We've good been talking about a lot of good stuff here. We always do, man. Yeah. I know you're passionate about this. I am too. I, I am. Yeah. It's, it, they're troubling times right now. It's scary. Yeah. Well, look, I didn't grow up with a silver spoon in my mouth. My mom and dad worked very hard for their money, and I just want to see people have good advice. And I'm tired of hearing the advice of don't worry about it, hang in there, you're in it for the long haul. Right. Because these are just cookie cutter sound bites that are managing emotions, they're not solving problems. So we've been talking about stuff that's a little bit scary, yeah. maybe a little bit depressing to others, but this one's called We're Making History, so I'm pretty excited about this. Tell yeah. me about it. Yeah, well look, with stock market, worst stock market uh, since 1939, worst bond market since 1989. So we're making history in a bad 82, way. 82 I should say, worst stock, uh, bond market since 1982. So in 40 years, worst bond market. In the last 70 years, yeah, worst start to the yeah, equities market. Yeah, big time stuff, man. I mean, this is... So it's bad news. I was excited and it's not, yeah. it's not exciting. <laughs> I thought we were going to talk about something happy, finally. No, no. I mean, you know, look, it's, it's, it's troubling times for America. I mean, you know, think about everything we've gone through with the pandemic. I mean, you know, everything from all the lockdowns and not being able to go anywhere and everybody being isolated, not being able to see family, right? Finally coming out of the pandemic. And now we're dealing with this massive decline in the market and rising inflation. And, you know, it, I mean, it's just, it's, it's tough. Let's talk about the challenges of both equities and fixed income being down at the same time. Because let's, let's, first, let's talk about how that relationship is, is usually and how it usually works and, yeah. and why we design portfolios the way we do or have historically. Yeah, well, you and I always talk about this, about the old fashioned 60-40 split between right. stocks and bonds. And, and the idea behind that was to use what we would consider non-correlated assets. I mean, bonds are typically non-correlated to stocks. It's so inverse relationship. It's inverse, so if stocks were going down, bonds would be going up, which was a good thing, right? And that yeah. would offset or mitigate risk. That's called hedging in a portfolio. Right. Most people don't know that. That's hedging risk, okay? But those hedging models are not working right now because you have both asset classes that are non-correlated going down in value. You know, think about it. Even cryptocurrency that was supposed to be a non-correlated asset right. is going down in value. So it's, it's very tough right now for portfolio managers to build a portfolio where they have any hedging built in unless they're using some type of option strategy. I wouldn't say they called it a bulletproof strategy, mm -hmm. but, but I think a lot of people thought it was. These are, this is how some of the biggest books on Wall Street are built. They're called parity books. And this is, this is the, it's a very simple concept, right? They're hedging with bonds against the stocks. If stocks started to do poorly, they put more bun, money in the bonds, and that's how they prevent the portfolio. But when you have both of them going down at the same time, it's, it, it becomes very difficult for these portfolio managers to manage the risk. So you and I were looking at some of the long-term bond portfolio yep. returns, yep. and they're down 8% to 14, 15%. It's not just small losses they're having on that yeah. side. Most people think, oh, it's just a small loss I'll take on that side, that, that safe side, yeah. but how it's about, not. How about the 20-year treasury bond? That's down almost 20%. Oh a 20 year treasury. If I came to you as advisor and said, you know, I think I'm, what we want to do is protect some of your money, we'll put it in a 20 year treasury, would you have ever thought that you would lose double digit returns on no. that? No. It, if you actually have, own the treasury, you can keep it until duration. That's and right. And get your money back. That's but right. you're losing money safely because of inflation, Correct. right? Yeah. So what, what's the other option with a bond fund? You don't have that same luxury, do you? Of just holding on. No, you don't. That, that's the problem with a bond fund. And this is where most people typically have bonds, is within the bond funds. They're a different animal than a traditional single purchase bond, right? Because if I hold a bond till it's maturity, I get my, I get my right. original amount back. That doesn't work in a bond fund. There could be losses. You don't control that maturity on those bonds. Bond funds are created for the masses, the peasants, right? Because yeah, wealthy people, they have individual line item bonds. They have line item bonds, right. that's right. They don't buy bond funds. No, no, no. The only person that buys the bond fund is you know your everyday worker that's investing in a 401k plan or your everyday mom and pop that's going to a brokerage firm or whatever and they're putting them into some type of bond mutual fund. That's so right. So with a 60-40 split or that inverse relationship when the equities went one way, we would run the other direction for mm -hmm. safety. Yep. What does somebody do today? Well, you got to think about alternatives. You got to think about alternatives that are not correlated to the market, right? I mean, some of these things that are not correlated to the market are things that have uh, option strategies built into them that are hedged to where we can get upside potential with no downside risk. Right. And these are places that you need to go. People don't realize there's other ways to hedge other than just this stock bond mix. We can do it through options investing too. And that is a very unique approach in hedging and it works very well, especially during volatile times like this. Well, People don't also understand that you can make 
money when the market goes down. It's called shorting the market. Right. Right. And so people just aren't open to these things because they're usually working with very plain vanilla accounts. Uh, and they don't have that sophistication because they're they just not seeing the right people. We, we always talk about how not all financial advisors are created equal, yeah. right? Yep. And we always talk about how there's three phases of retirement, accumulation when you're young and you're yeah. saving money and, and right. socking it away and you can you can afford a loss or two, right, along the way. Then you get in that preservation stage, that retirement red zone where you're mm -hmm. three to five years out from retirement. Yep. And what's the goal there? You just want to want to protect it, right? You want to preserve, right? Our clients are more concerned about the return of their money rather than the return on right. their money. Okay. It, that that's the most important thing in retirement. Okay? Right. It's the most important thing is that you provide yourself with a stream of income. The and distribution you, phase, which is the last phase, the is what you're discussing phase, right now. That's right. We got accumulation, preservation, distribution. Right. Very important to Not understand. Not all financial advisors are good at those. Most financial advisors continue to focus, even in retirement, they're using accumulation strategies in retirement. You know, when I is see this- Is it because this, they don't know or don't have the tools? What is it? What causes it? I think it's a little bit of both. I mean, you know, you know, being in this business, growing up in this business, I mean, I was, you know, 22 years old when I got started in this business. I'm 46 now, right? Right. I've seen a lot over the years, but it's the training in the industry. The industry has a certain philosophy that it likes to follow, especially at the big box firms, right? Yeah. There's, there's a specific model and you've got to follow that model. And, you know, your, your manager at the end of the week is going to ask you about how much XYZ you recommended. Working with a fiduciary firm and you'll see most guys are trying to move out of the big box firms because they don't want to they don't have to come to the table with right. an agenda anymore but working with a fiduciary we have to do what's in your best interest and we don't have a, we don't we're not loyal or beholden to any specific company well what you just said fiduciary and being beholden to the client not some company these people that are at these big box firms the retail firms that are on every corner what most people don't understand is the majority of them are brokers right that's right and a broker gets paid a commission no matter what they sell that's right so they want to they want as many transactions as possible that's right and there's a there's a few problems with that because you don't know if a, a change is being made if it's being made in your best interest or it's being made just to tra transact a commission right the other thing is this uh, brokers can't actively move often. Like our portfolios have moved often over the last few months as the markets have changed. If a, if a broker does that, he could get charged with churning. So this is a lot of times why they say, don't worry about it, hang in there, you're in it for long. Just long. hold on. Because they're, 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 they're handcuffed as far as what they can do as far as that activity. Because if there's too much trading or too much activity, that's called churning, they get, they get themselves in trouble for that. When my mom retired, she said to me, this stuff is confusing. And I could see somebody in the audience we don't have a lot of experience with this, right? You save, you put money in a, way in a 401k, it's out of mind, out of sight, or backwards, out of sight, out of mind. And uh, what would somebody do today to know? I mean, how would somebody really know what Well, to they do? don't need to be confused anymore, folks. And I don't want you to be confused. I want you to take advantage of our Right Track Retirement Review. It truly is designed to help you understand what retirement is, how to properly position your retirement assets, and make things simple and easy to understand. And it will give you, most importantly, peace of mind. So for the next 10 callers who call in right now, we're going to give you a complimentary Right Track Retirement Review at no cost. No obligation. All you got to do is call 1-888-382-1298. Again, that's 1-888-382-1298 or scan the QR code at the bottom. See, everybody can tell you how to invest your money. There's not a lot of people out there and a lot of firms that can teach you how to use your money. Most people also tell you that they're scared. And the reason they're scared is because they're afraid of running out of money. The last thing you want to do is have a really good job and you're into your 60s, retire, and be looking for work again in your late 70s. The average person might say, well, a good portfolio would be a good mix of stocks, bonds, and mutual funds. No, 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 no. A good portfolio is all designed around the five key areas, income, taxes, investments, healthcare, and legacy planning. We're not just product pickers here. What we do best here is we build retirement plans. Nine out of 10 people, when they walk through the door, would ask us, we just want to know if we're on the right track. And I always say, if you're not on the right track, when would be a good time to know it? Probably now. People you know, can actually see a vision once we start to really build out their plan. This is about you. If you're not getting what you need and you feel that when you walk out of the advisor's office, it's time to get a second opinion. And you can't get a second opinion from the person that gave you the first opinion. The difference at Secure Money Advisors, as a fiduciary firm, we help you manage the risk, build the income, and give you the retirement you dreamed of. Welcome to On The Money with Secure Money. I'm Rob Hertig, here with Brian Caranta. Rob, good to see you, as always. Always good to see you. We always have a lot of fun here. Yeah, yeah. So let's talk about stuff that's important and timely, right? 
Yep. We try to do our best job of it. Right? We do. <laughs> you have something here called the hidden tax. I think most people, uh, yeah. most people know what we're talking about. Here. Yeah, inflation. But inflation, right? <laughs> it, it, it's a tax that you did not sign up for. You didn't. Nobody voted on it. No. You're well, they probably did by yeah. printing money. Yeah. You know, but uh, they call it the stealth tax. Really? Yeah, they call it the stealth tax. I mean, think about it. I, I mean, look at the numbers here. I mean, first off, inflation's up 8.9 percent. Uh, you know, as of this show here. Uh, you know, the cost of flights up 33%, gas 40%. I mean, I've got, I, I, you know, people watching the show here, and I don't know about your Facebook feed, but I'll see a lot of friends taking pictures of the gas pump now because they're shocked. Right. <laughs> you know, I had a friend just posted a picture that had $118 to fill his truck. Yeah. Right? But g gas up 40%, car rentals up 8.5%. Used cars up 35%, energy up 32%. I mean, think about what's happening here to people. I mean, the average household could spend between $3,500 and $5,000 more buying this stuff. Right. You know what's year. interesting, though, yeah. Brian? Everything you listed there, it's either a necessity that you have to have. They're consumer staples. Right. Yeah. Or it's bucket list stuff, the stuff that you work so hard for your entire right. life and the stuff yeah. you dream about doing in retirement. Yep. And, you know, just watching this, I, I care about this stuff. I love what I do, and I care about this stuff. And Every day you see, you know, the market's volatile, you see costs going up, mm -hmm. and, and really what that means to, to people in the audience is you see retirement dreams being eroded in front of our very eyes, yeah. and people don't even know it yet. Yeah. Their heads are still in the sand. They, they, they are, and they need to wake up because th this, is, this is not an easy time right now, and this is not the time to keep your head in the sand and kick the can down the road and procrastinate because if you don't make adjustments right now, and you don't evaluate where you're at and what type of positions you're in or understand the risk level that you're taking or how much more your portfolio could potentially go down if the market continues to drop or how this inflation increase is going to impact your spending. Right. I mean, most people, what we find fundamentally when we plan, I've been planning for you know over 20 years, is they don't have a plan. Right. How they don't have a plan. That? So how would somebody know if they don't have a plan, if they can't dictate exactly what their investments do? You don't have to know how they work, but if they can't tell you when they come in mm -hmm. what everything does, would you say that that person has a plan? No. Most people don't know how to get their money to start working for them. See, we all saved and accumulated this money so that eventually when you retire, it actually started working for you. Yeah. And 85 to 90% of those people are going to need it to work for them because most people are retiring without pensions. So when you don't have a pension and the only guaranteed source of income you're going to have is Social Security, most people are going to rely on those retirement savings savings to generate additional income. So they're just waiting on their financial advisor to, to save them. If he's well, not the calling financial you, advisor, you know what they tell them, Rob? They tell them, just, just pull the money out of the account. So they keep all their money in, in one bucket, right? And, they, and, and, and they, it's all in the market, and they hope and pray that the market's going to continue to cooperate. And when they call their advisor and, and, and they say, you know, I'm really worried. We're continuing to take money out of this. And, and the advisor says, you know, don't worry about it. Everything's going to be fine. Keep doing it. But, Rob, I meet people every single year that are running out of money. I meet these folks. And I'll tell you, the worst day of retirement, is not the day you run out. The worst day of retirement is when you, the day you figure out you're going to run out of money and there's nothing you can do it's to stop. It's got to be heartbreaking. It's, it's heartbreaking for people. You told me a stat before between segments here, and it was, I think, with a 6% inflation rate, yep. your income need doubles every 12 years. Yeah, think so about that. So you think about how long people are living in retirement now. Yeah. And think about if you're on a fixed income, right? Mm -hmm. If your income need right now is $50,000 a year, yep. do you have enough money to last you when that becomes $100,000 a year that you're having to withdraw from your accounts? That's right. Talk about that. Yeah. Well, when we have inflation, right, things get more and more expensive. And right. normally we have an inflation rate that's reasonable, right? We're seeing accelerated inflation. We might even be seeing stagflation where we've got high, high interest rates, right, high costs, right. but low growth. Right, so that means portfolios are not even gonna keep up with what they need. So how are people going to, when they see their expenses increase, how are they gonna offset those expenses? They're gonna to have to make major cuts. They right. may have to reduce, they may have to sell their homes, go into a, a, a you know, a, a, a lesser mortgage or, or go into an apartment. Or, moving with family. Or move into fa with family, sell a car and only have one car. I mean, there's gonna be sacrifices that people need to make. And unfortunately, they're not getting the advice on how to mitigate these risks as much as they can. You know, we always talk about providing solutions for people that they can do on their own. Yeah. I think the day of the do-it-yourselfer, you, you need to not be a do-it-yourselfer right now. Yeah. It's too, it's too, yeah. it's too hard. Well, look, if you're a do-it-yourselfer and you've got time for your portfolio to recover, that's one thing. But if you're a do-it-yourselfer and you're, you're planning on actually being the one that actually generates the income for your retirement and you've been following some stock journal or some you know uh, talking head on TV to get stock advice, you right. might want to think again uh, because that's okay if that's money that you can roll the dice with, but that's that's not money that you're going to be able to live off of retirement because you're going to need a lot of things to go right, right in order for it to work. And a lot of people thought for the last 12, 14 years that everything was going right. right. You know, how many people did we know in big tech companies that were making money left over right, big time money? 
you know, they're not singing the same tune anymore. That's right. You're absolutely right. Thinking, you know, talking about do-it-yourselfers, I like to look at houses. Yeah. And you can tell when somebody had flipped a house and is a do-it-yourselfer. Yeah. It's not the same quality of <laughs> work. That, that's right. You can tell when somebody's not a professional. You yeah. probably can tell when somebody's a do-it-yourselfer and they bring their portfolio in. Yeah. Yeah. And, you know, the other thing, too, is that, you know, not all advisors are created equal, Rob. Right. Not all advisors have the, the extensive uh, training and planning s uh, strategies that, that we do at Secure Money Advisors. I might be a little bit biased, right? But I see the work that's out there. And it, but it's no different than contractors, right? I mean, there's right. good contractors, bad contractors. You go into a kitchen, this guy does this type of work this guy does this type of work doctors doctors are the same way right there's good ones there's bad ones attorneys that's you right. just have to find the one that's that's right for you what what and the, I will say this I, what I find is that a lot of people have a hard time making a change because they're too worried about the relationship I would say that uh, what you know the way that the quality of life and how we experience retirement is way more important than any relationship with any financial advisor that's right I mean that should be a business relationship with the advisor if the advisor is not getting that job done that advisor should be fired period bottom line. right you'll fire your house cleaner the guy that mows your yard for doing something wrong yeah if the lines crooked or he misses right. a few spots of the yard <laughs> and that's not even that important right it's not a big deal that's right this is yeah. the most vitally important it's the hardest relationship to break up yeah. it's, it, it, well a lot of people are intimidated by having those conversations you know they're, they're intimidated by it and I'll tell you you know people don't realize that there's only four things that their money can do for them it can either provide them with growth it can provide them with safety it can provide them with income or it can be liquid but it can't do all four at one right. time and too many people keep their money in one bucket Rob well you always talk about your three bucket approach right? I do it, let, let's I know what it is explain to the audience what it is well they're actually they're actually gonna get that three bucket approach and folks if you were to call today the next 10 callers who call in we are gonna give you an opportunity to actually see our uh, our three bucket approach through our right track retirement analysis I want to show you this because nobody is walking you through a strategy like this I hear it from people all the time I wish somebody would have shown me this you know, 10 years ago, Brian, we would have been a lot better off. So for the next 10 callers who call in, we are going to give you a complimentary right track retirement review. All you have to do is call 1-888-382-1298 and scan or scan the QR code. But I want you to not kick the can down the road. This is not a time to procrastinate. This economy is moving quick. You need solutions. You need somebody else looking at what you're doing to make sure that you're not going to put yourself in, in harm's way even more. Remember, losses will hurt you more than gains will help you right now. It really is all about protecting 30, 40 years worth of work and making sure you have what you have. So call that number today and schedule the Right Track Retirement Review. It's 1-888-382-1298 or scan the QR code. See, everybody can tell you how to invest your money. There's not a lot of people out there and a lot of firms that can teach you how to use your money. Most people will also tell you that they're scared and the reason they're scared is because they're afraid of running out of money. The last thing you wanna do is have a really good job and you're into your 60s, retire, and be looking for work again in your late 70s. The average person might say, well, a good portfolio would be a good mix of stocks, bonds, and mutual funds. No, 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 no. A good portfolio is all designed around the five key areas, income, taxes, investments, healthcare, and legacy planning. We're not just product pickers here. What we do best here is we build retirement plans. Nine out of 10 people, when they walk through the door, would ask us, we just want to know if we're on the right track. And I always say, if you're not on the right track, when would be a good time to know it? Probably now. People you know, can actually see a vision once we start to really build out their plan. This is about you. If you're not getting what you need, and you feel that when you walk out of the advisor's office, it's time to get a second opinion. And you can't get a second opinion from the person that gave you the first opinion. The difference at Secure Money Advisors, as a fiduciary firm, we help you manage the risk, build the income, and give you the retirement you dreamed of. Welcome back to On The Money with Secure Money Weekly Report. I'm Rob Hertig, here with my good friend, Brian Quaranta. Rob, how are you today? Man, I'm awesome. Good. I'm awesome. I know you are too. Yeah. <laughs> I know very you busy are too. though. Very busy though. Yeah. People, yeah. people are worried right now. Yeah. They, they're very worried and they have every right to be. Yeah. They have every right to be because you're talking about 40 plus years worth of work at risk in the market right now. I've met a lot of people that are just losing a lot of money right now. They're terrified. You talk to other people and they don't even want to face the reality of what might be happening to their 401ks or their retirement accounts. Uh, but it's not a time to stick your head in the sand. This is not a time to kick the can down the road. When you have 14 years of positive reinforcement, right? Yep. We're winning, we're winning, we're winning. And even in 2020, yep. we had some of the most volatile days the market's ever seen. 2,000 point swings one way or yep. the other. 
and we still finished 2020 up. Right. Right. All yeah. through COVID. All through COVID. Yeah. Yeah. It, it, it was the you know it was the the injection of all the capital yeah. into the market too. I mean, come on. We had kids that were investing their money that they were getting for college uh, with through their Robinhood apps or their TD Ameritrade apps, and they were making a ton of money. Right. Crazy. I mean, how many people have we heard millionaires? How many stories did I hear from uh, our clients about their grandson or their granddaughter making a million dollars in cryptocurrency? Right. You know, it was just when I saw that happening, I knew we were at the peak because when you hear things being that easy, you know, you know the run's about to be right. over. Like Henry Ford when he said yeah. he knew how to get why to get out of the market because a shoe shiner gave him investment advice. Yeah, right. <laughs> that's like right. you know the market's saturated when the guy shining your shoes. Yeah, he's giving you investment, you investment right. advice. You're, that's you're right. In a bad spot. Yeah. You know, it, it, it's tough. You know, both money managers and consumers get this confidence as years go by and they're winning, winning, winning. Mm -hmm. And they, it, it's almost like they forgot that you can lose at some point. That's and right. We get guys that are on, on the on the TV with commercials saying. You know certain things that we use in the past to make sure we live great retirements. Yep. That they're bad and we hate them and yeah. we don't have them. Yeah. But either people that are with that guy right now wish they had an annuity. Yeah. Well, annuities are a very important part of planning. I mean, for for some cases, you know, yeah. not not all cases. Um, you know, every everybody's situation is different. But you know, you got to remember that the losses will hurt you more than the gains will help you. Right. Right. Let me say that again. The losses will hurt you more than the gains will help you. So, and the reason I say that is because. When you retire, it's not about getting 100% growth of the market. It's about protecting your downside. Right. And most people don't hedge by protecting their downside. So, you know, market goes down, they lose 20%, 30%, 40%. We need accounts that if the market goes up, we can make a little bit of money. But right. if the market goes down, we don't lose. Right. And the design of these annuity products today will allow us to do that. But they'll also do something else very important. They'll provide us with a guaranteed income stream. Not only guaranteed for your life, but guaranteed for your spouse's right. life. And any money in the account will go to your family members or right. at, at any point in time you wanted to take that money out, you could take it out. Depending on when you take it out, you could pay some penalties. But at the end of the day, we have ways to protect money today and still get some growth in the market. You're a fiduciary. The other advisors at your firm are as well. Yeah. And by law, you have to do what's in the best interest of the client, right? That's right. It, you know, my problem with what happens, you know, in the media, there's always certain themes that start to get carried away. And yeah. th there's always multiple versions of the story, right? We see it over and over again. Yeah. So this, this narrative that annuities are bad, well, there's four or five different kinds of annuities, right? That's right. And yeah. what I've noticed is these people on TV that run these commercials, they are taking the worst parts of every different type of annuity yep. and combining them like they're one organism and they're not. That's right. They're, they're, they, they, they lump it all in together. Right. It's, it's not a fair analysis, right? And I think there's bad annuities. Oh, uh, absolutely. And I, 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 I think completely. there's good ones. I you think know, there's ones that are appropriate for people yes. and ones that aren't. Yes. And you got to know in the annuity market, you have to know what you're looking at in order to purchase the right one and get the right one that's going to solve the problems that, it, that, that you need it to solve. Right. Some do accumulation. Some do income for life that you cannot live that's right. guaranteed. Even if you outlive the money that's there, that's you have right. a payment coming in. So give me an example of where you would use like an accumulation vehicle. Yeah. Well, look, so let's say you're getting ready to retire, right? Yeah. And you know, you're retiring and the only amount of income that you're going to have on a guaranteed basis is your social security check. Okay. Right. So let's suppose, and this is about 85% of the people retiring today, right? Let's say that you need an extra $20,000 a year in income, yeah. right? Well, you've got two choices. You could keep all your money at risk in the market and you could pull that $20,000 a year out of your investment portfolio. Okay. Right. And as long as the market cooperates, you got nothing to worry about. Taxes don't go up, no inflation, no market drops. No market drops most importantly, right? Yeah. Mo no market drops most importantly. But if you're trying to get $20,000 of income out from a stock portfolio and you pull that out and the market's going down like it has been, now you're compounding those losses and this is what we see where people will spiral and run out of money. And they're not running out of money in the first 10 years of retirement. They'll run out of money in like 15 to 20 years when they don't have the physical health to go back to work. You need it the most. You, when you need it the when most, you're the you most got vulnerable. It. When you're the most vulnerable. So what the annuity does is by carving that money off, by carving a portion of your money off and placing it into that guaranteed account, we can provide that income stream of twenty thousand dollars a year. Yeah. And in even some annuities, that twenty thousand dollars a year would increase every year. Yeah. Okay. So we can even get increasing income. Now you tell me, would you rather have an account? that could run out of money or would you rather have an account that wouldn't run out of money? Well, people over the last 14 years, they got, they fell so in love with that account balance. Yes. And they thought that was important. And I think what they're finding out is a paycheck is way more important than that great big account balance. We convinced everybody to operate like we're all independently wealthy, right? Yes. Let's do it like the wealthy do. Well, you don't yeah. have the money to do it like the wealthy do. That's right. Wake up. That's right. I always say, would you rather have a, a million dollars in your account 
or would you rather have a guarantee of income of $50,000 coming in a year? I would rather have a guarantee of income of $50,000 coming in a year rather than a million dollars sitting in my account that could go down and I could lose it. Yeah. You're right, Rob. That income is more important than the account balance itself. It's the monthly income that gives you peace of mind and security in retirement and really allows you to have the retirement that you always wanted. Because nobody wants to be worrying about the pandemonium on Wall Street when they're right. retired. They want to be spending time with their kids and their grandkids, right? And their families and going on vacation. They don't want to worry about being on vacation on some cruise and the market just dropped 30%. And they're thinking to themselves, we probably shouldn't spend the money we're about to spend on this cruise because we're not going to have a whole lot left after the market takes it from yeah, us. Yeah, you actually just made me think of something. So the, the prospects, the people you're meeting with that are coming in that are scared. Yeah. A lot of them have lost 20, 30, 40% in the market. Correct. How much of your clients loss in index annuities? Yeah, zero. 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 You cannot lose yeah. money in those accounts. And even, you know, the, the other good annuity is even something called a fixed annuity where you can get a guaranteed rate of return. Kind of like an old CD, right? Uh, like an old CD yeah. where you can get, you know, three and a half, four percent rate of return. We'll probably see those rates go up even more. Oh, I'm watching it day by day. As, as the interest rates are, are going up, I'm seeing those, those uh, yields on the back sides of those climb as well. That's right. Rob, these index annuities are alternative asset classes that are not correlated to the stock market. That's the most important thing. They're built off in an options portfolio that allows you to take get this upside uh, uh, gains without the losses but this is this is why our right track retirement system is so important because I've built this out to cover all of these areas and I want people to have this information and folks if you call in and schedule a time to come in I'm gonna walk you through our right track retirement system we really have done a good job breaking this down so you have a simple easy to understand plan that's gonna provide you with income and peace of mind in retirement we're gonna show you a better approach than just rolling the dice and taking risk if you've won the game folks there's no reason to keep playing it take advantage of the right track retirement uh, analysis. All you got to do is call 1-888-382-1298. Again, that's 1-888-382-1298 or scan the QR code.